Hey, it's Kyle Henderson of Bama Football on YouTube. Run the thumbs up. I appreciate you guys more than you know. Uh, a lot to dive into. Let's get to it. Huge update regarding Alabama's coaching staff, okay? You got your new coach in, Kalen DeBoer. Now, who's going to be on the staff? Because when you go to Alabama's official website, all it lists is Coach DeBoer. That's it. So what we gather is that Ryan Grubb could be the next offensive coordinator. You're going to love this. This is a really big update, what we call a W over here, because this was the guy that Saban wanted first ahead of Tommy Reese, actually last season. And I think that Ryan Grubb knew what was coming back for Washington. Clearly, he stayed, helped the Huskies get to the national championship game. This guy is an offensive wizard. He's a young mind. He helped develop Michael Pett. Penix Jr. And you look to how polished he was at the end of his career. In my opinion, I felt that Michael Penix Jr. was the best quarterback in all of college football. I get it. He had a ton of time to develop, to become experienced. But from what I understand, Ryan Grubb is a quarterback whisperer, if you will. And I like that because in my opinion, Alabama hasn't had a quarterback whisper since Alex Mortensen departed from Alabama to go to UAB under Trent Dilfer. I really like the fact that they're putting an emphasis, a high emphasis on the quarterback position, considering the fact that you have Jalen Milrow, you have Ty Simpson, you have Dylan Lonergan, and Julian Singh. I'm real firm about this. I feel that this is one of the strongest quarterback rooms in the country. They need to be developed. They need to improve. And Ryan Grubb, if he comes in and he is the OC, this is a huge win for Alabama's overall offense and their offensive scheme. And this is another selling point to Isaiah Bond. And we're going to talk about him in the back of the video. But with Ryan Grubb coming in, this is um, somebody who changes your mind. If you're Isaiah Bond, you look back to Alabama because I think he really gets things going and he can build this offense around a player as dynamic as Isaiah Bond. OK, so really big update. And he would be the quarterback's coach if he does come back here um, to Alabama. Jamarcus Shepard is another name to know. He's a wide receivers coach. You have to replace Holman Wiggins. Holman Wiggins is going to be the wide receiver coach at Texas A&M. Jamarcus Shepard was also part of this Washington Huskies coaching staff during the 2023 season. Uh, he had two wide receivers this past year that caught for 1,000 yards. What I liked about the Washington wide receivers, they ran crisp routes. They caught the ball. They turned up field. They did all those simple things. And there's a lot of those guys um, that will play at the next level. Before that, he was at Purdue, where he helped develop and coach up Rondell Moore, one of the most dangerous and dynamic wide receivers that we've had in college football. Um, I Everybody knows his game, and uh, I think it would be a really good addition to this. Now, I guess they're going to be a veteran wide receiver room, right? These guys got a lot of reps this past year. Kendrick Law, Kobe Prentice, Isaiah Bond, if he decides uh, to stick around to Alabama. Emmanuel Henderson. I saw a tweet from him uh, that said, Roll Tide. Love it. Emmanuel Henderson is a name that we cannot forget. Jalen Hell is a name that we cannot forget. Um, even if you're Ryan Williams, I know he decommitted. You look to the fact that uh, Ryan Grubb could potentially be coming in. And same thing with Jamarcus Shep. I'm, I'm excited about this, to be honest. Okay. One more name um, that could be coming from Washington's staff in 2023, and that is Scott Huff. Um, this is really significant. Offensive line coach, did you know that Washington's offensive line won the Joe Moore Award this past season? That goes to the best offensive line in the entire country. And you know how inconsistent Alabama's offensive line was this past season. It was frustrating, gave a lot of people ending anxiety, um, the bad snaps. Um, at the beginning of the season, there was some tackle issues. Um, thank goodness Jaden Roberts came through and turned into the Hulk. Actually turned into one of the best offensive linemen in probably college football at the guard position. So you do have some good components coming back, but that area needs to be consistent. And if the offensive line can be consistent, then Ryan Grubb, if he is the OC, can turn these quarterbacks loose, can develop these guys and who we think they are going to be. Think about it. The ceiling of Jalen Milrow is extremely high. I like the fact that Scott Huff could be the offensive line coach here at Alabama. I think it would honestly be a slam dunk. Um, that would be significant news, okay? Uh, Coach DeBoer talked about his staff and how it is going to come together. He said it's going to be a mix of Washington and um, a mix of guys who know the territory recruiting. What does that mean? Does that mean he's going to retain a couple coaches from uh, Nick Saban's staff? 
Um, I think he has to, honestly. I, I think with the recruiting coming into the Southeast, one of the things that I've noticed when I look up, um, you know, Ryan Grubb or Jamarcus Shepard, um, they don't have a lot of ties to the Southeast. So you need guys that are familiar with this area in terms of recruiting. Uh, these guys have to be aggressive. And I think if you retain a couple, um, it's going to do wonders not only for recruiting, but also uh, with the players that you already have on the roster. Coach DeBoer also mentioned the fact that uh, you have to recruit your own roster. That's one of his major things that he's doing right now. Uh, you have to talk with these guys because you're taking over for Coach Saban. And you have to explain to these guys, this is the mission. This is the process. This is the design. Uh, these are the offensive coaches uh, that are coming in. And this is the philosophy to get you the football, to get you uh, in the best position uh, to showcase your abilities. So um, I like those additions from Washington if they do uh, work out. Another name that I wanted to uh, clarify, this is Courtney Morgan. Courtney Morgan um, is a GM, general manager, and that's in charge of player personnel. It was a position um, that was created at Washington. What his role is, is he has every single player's number. He has every single uh, parent's number, and his job is to re-recruit these players, but uh, he's in charge of player personnel, a really important position. Uh, Courtney Morgan, from what we heard, everybody loves him, big energy, a lot of people gravitate towards him. Um, so that's a name to know as well. Uh, keeping track of the coaches that are out, clearly Coach Saban up top, uh, retirement, Kevin Still, defensive coordinator, retirement, T-Rob going to Georgia. I don't like that because uh, Kirby Smart poached a good one, in my opinion. Uh, that's a good one. And, and I thought T-Rob did a really good job with the defense, helping Coach Saban on the defense, uh, and then also recruiting-wise. That was, that was a big win for Kirby today, in my opinion. Uh, you also lose Coleman Hutzler as a defensive coordinator to Mississippi State, and then you lose, as mentioned earlier, Holman Wiggins, who was going to Texas A&M. A couple notes on the transfer portal. You had Roydell Williams commit to Florida State. Uh, that's the fourth player from Alabama to go to Mike Norvell in Florida State, joining Earl Little, um, uh, Malik Benson, and T. Ferg. I felt all those players would have played in some uh, aspect. Maybe not. I mean, Roydell Williams, I like his game. Out of Hueytown, like his personality. I think Florida State uh, got four Ws, to be honest. Uh, and I know the running backs that are coming back here, Justice Haynes, Jan Miller, those guys are going to play over him. But Roydell Williams is a quality player, 100%. Um, other guys to hit the transfer portal today. You had Des Ricks, former five-star, and uh, you also have Antonio Kite. We are also tracking um, Isaiah Bond. Now, um, a representative of him came out on social media and said, look, if you don't hear um, from here, from me, don't, um, don't believe it. So it's kind of just a wait and see with Isaiah Bond. And uh, I, someone texted me that he was in Texas. We don't know. Uh, I hope he does give this coaching staff, when it comes together, a look. And I hope he does give uh, Kalen DeBar uh, the, the benefit of the doubt, you know, in terms of coming over here and trusting in this process, because I really think they could build something great around Isaiah Bond and these quarterbacks he's running back. I, I'm big on the offense. I just have my questions on the defense. I'm sure you have your questions as well. Uh, but wanted to come on the PM, provide a coaching uh, search update in terms of who's going to be added to the staff. My name is Kyle Henderson of Bama Football on YouTube. I appreciate you guys more than you know. Uh, run the thumbs up, please. Run them up on this video. And now a part of the 100,000 Club right here on uh, YouTube. So I will be back next video. Appreciate all your support in the lives. Thanks for supporting the coaches. And uh, I'll catch you on the next video right here on Bama Football on YouTube.